All right, YouTube. It's your boy, Rock Tactical, and I'm back today with another video. So, look, before we get into this video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. I got some bangers coming for y'all, boys. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie. So, today, we're gonna be talking about the five pros and the five cons to owning a five inch micro AR pistol or building one. So, we're gonna talk about that. Before we get into that, I'm gonna show y'all, you feel me? New plate carrier. When the plates come in, I'm gonna do a review on this, but. This is what it looks like for now. 2762 mags. P mag. This is a 40 cal Glock mag. Glock 23 mag. A PSA dagger mag. Just for now. Like, I ain't even set it up or nothing. I just put it straight on how I came. I ain't fit tightening up. But it feel good, though. So, I got some stuff on the back, too. But that's for another video for another day. So, we're going to get straight into this video. Before we get into this video, shit, I'm everyday carry. And I... That PSA dagger, I've been, ever since I got this ticket to the range, I don't know, I done brought it out the house more than my Glock 22, probably because I had the Glock 22 longer, but I like this better than the Glock 22. The PSA dagger. Alrighty, safety check. So the gun is clear, safe direction. Well, yeah, so ADC, PSA dagger. Review video on this coming soon. I know there's plenty out there, but it's mine, so I'm going to do my review on it. So... Let's get straight into this video. Here it is. Five inch micro AR pistol. Make sure it's clear for y'all. Clear. As you see. We're gonna start off with the cons. The five cons about having this. The first con, as you already know, it's a five inch barrel with a five, five, six, two, two, three bullets, so the velocity is ass. So anything past 50 rounds, I wouldn't even try it. Because I shoot this at 50. Bullet tumbling, you know. So the velocity is not that good. But you can get the good groupers at 50 yards. Because I get good groupers at 50 yards with this. But I didn't buy it for the velocity. So we ain't going to talk about that. But first con, velocity. Good. Second con, it's hard to get these to operate right. It's very hard. Because there's so much you got to do to it. Like, so much. You got to get a good bow. You got to. So, I know it's like, it start off cheap. It start off cheap, but once you get to shooting it, it just goes into a whole bunch of other stuff. So, that's the second con. You got to put a lot of money into it. It's hard. It's harsh on extractors, like 762. Third, it's going to have to be how loud it is. Like, I mean, it's louder than the Draco for sure. And this is chambered at 5.56. Five, so you get the picture. Like, this louder than the Draco. It's chambered at 5.56, five, five, 223. I put a linear comp on there. The flash can I had on there, I love it. But this linear comp takes away the sound. Like, a, enough. Enough. Takes away the sound enough. Oh, yeah. I double cupped the orange juice just so I can feel like the rapper. Yeah, I blew a baby now for 4 p.m. No, I'm just <laughs> But, yeah. The third one going to have to be how loud it is, how bright it is. Like, that's why I bought it up for loudness and brightness. You feel me? Fireball. The fourth reason not to be, because people going to hate you at the range, bro. Like, that's why I don't, you don't see me post the indoor content. I only shoot this outside because... It's loud as fuck outside, so I can just imagine indoors. I got a shot of Micro Draco indoor, and that bitch was, like, so loud. But I love it, you feel me? Like, I like that type of shit. You got good air protection, you good. You got to double up. You got to put the little things in your ear and do the air protection. I mean, you great, you feel me? But, yeah, the fucking fourth thing is going to be you got to shoot outdoors. Like, you can't take this everywhere. And most ranges won't even let you, like, some real deal... I don't want to say the word, but you know, you know what people are talking about. They look at me when I try to bring this in. No, no, you're gonna shoot our ceiling. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do that, bro. I'm not one of these you know, little ass guys out here just come to the range. No, bro, I'm trying to. You feel me? Like I come from a range. The range I go to, you can only load six bullets in your gun at a time. You can only load six bullets in the magazine. I know it sounds dumb, but it don't, cause I'm there working on my precision shot groupings. And just getting a good feel of the weapon, how to maneuver, like how to like. That's why I like that range. Some people might be like six shots. That's dumb. 
when you think about it, you're saving bullets and you're like perfecting your craft at the same time. So I don't really trip about the six bullets thing. It just, hey, but with this, six bullets gone, I'm just going to mm, mm, keep it going. You feel me? Like that, like before, I'll just load up three mags, shoot, six, 12, boom. After that, reload the three mags and go like that. With this, whatever gun I'm going to shoot, I'm going to load all the mags, put them in here. Have one in here, shoot the six, drop it, load, boom, shoot the six, drop it, and see what type of grouping I get. You feel me? So, yeah, most most gun ranges won't let you shoot this in their range. I don't know why it's dumb. Well, it's not really dumb when you think about it because they don't want you fucking up their shit, so I understand, but make a range a gun range, bro. Like, everybody's not going to be the best shot. Somebody's going to come in there and do that, so. Either way to go, I feel like it's going to happen with a Glock, AR, pistol, anything. The, the last, like the fifth thing, the fifth reason, I would say not build one of these because of the police. So the police, okay, don't get me wrong. There's some police who knows what they're talking about when it comes to guns. But there's some police who doesn't. I literally had to argue with a police officer for about an hour telling him my gun's not an SBR, which... When I went and looked it up, people was telling me that he couldn't even tell me to show him an SBR tax stamp or anything like that. But when the sheriff, like when the sheriff or whoever his manager was came out, he cleared everything up. That's a pistol is guilty of. And I was literally on my way in 30, 40 seconds. So just you got to watch out for the cops because they don't know what they be talking about. They're not up on the rules. How are you going to be someone who enforces the rules and laws but don't know what you're talking about? So that like. I kinda, it kind of had me scared for a minute because it's like, you don't know what this dude on. Like, we top of our lungs, generally, he's telling me, hey, I'm going to put you in cuffs right now, and we can just handle this at the station. It's like, so I'm just telling him, like, you know what? Call your manager. You're going to detain me, detain me, take me down, take me down, because I know I'm legal, so I ain't good. I'm just going to sue the shit out of him. But that's the five reasons why I wouldn't build this. Not a five reasons why I would build this. The number one reason, compact tiny like this is the case the psa dagger comes with right like it's the case the psa dagger comes with and you see that right if i took this off this one see i would be able to zip this up and only have this hanging out so that's my number one reason for it compactness how compact it is number two the good reason to get this is because you're not going to see a lot of people with these. As far as Micro Draco, I'm pretty sure every time you go to the gun range, there's somebody there with a Micro Draco. Every gun range I've ever been to in my life, there was someone there with a Micro Draco. These, people be like, these draw, like, people be like, what's that? Hey, look, man, that's nice. So, like, it's something different. Something different. You're not going to see as many YouTube videos about these. Because for one, people are going to tell you you shouldn't build that. Now, me, I have a reason for building this. I wanted it to be this small. Like, I like it this small. I prefer it this small for this. I have rifles. I have a 16-inch rifle. I have an 18-inch rifle. Just, just the same old, same old rifle. I wanted something different, something new. Boom. So that's the second thing. The third thing, they actually, it's actually reliable. It actually runs. Like, I'm 2,000 rounds in. Probably one stop, and if it was, I can't remember. But as I can remember right now from my last shooting experiences, it hasn't been a failure at all. You feel me? Like, I done shot it with the flash can on, with the flash can off, with just a threaded protector on there. So, yes. The fourth reason, this was like, if you're a YouTuber, gun tuber, this will draw attention because there's so many people that are going to be in your comments telling you stuff that like a thousand people has already commented. So you think if one person already commented, hey, you're not getting good, any good ballistics out of that. Why would I pay attention to your fucking comment that says the exact same thing that the guy above you said? So just like be be smart when you comment on the video. You know what I'm gonna say? Cause it's a waste of time. Sometimes I just laugh at that shit until I look at it, but I know you don't get that much power out the barrel. I know I should have just built a tutu, but this is better than a tutu. I could throw a rock at you with all the force in my body. And cause serious harm. So I know this would do some serious harm to a person. So that's all I'm saying. Fourth thing. 
because it's gonna draw attention. It's cool. Like like people are gonna look at it like, hey, that's nice. You know what I mean? Like, that's nice. Where'd you get that? How you built that? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're looking for the like the attention to get it, bring some trend, some some viewers to your page, build you one of these. It's gonna bring attention to your page. Now the last reason is for if I did have to use this in the home defense situation. You know how many, like how little I could just, I really could just around every corner. Like, it's like this is the perfect close quarter combat gun. So this is really what it is for like home defense slash range. I ain't trying to really do no harm to nobody. I didn't, I'm not building guns. Keep this in mind, I'm not building guns thinking about being destructive with them. I've built this gun to have fun with. This is something you go to the range, you have fun with. You let your buddies try out, let them shoot it. You know, have a good time at the range. And they be like, Gee, that sucker's loud. That motherfucker has a nice fireball. The recoil's not that bad. I like that. You feel me? It's a toy, a range toy. I don't, I'm not trying to out here. You're not going to be out here trying to. Unless you're in the trenches, you're in Chirac or something. And the beef up. It's the wrong, just the wrong channel for you with the beef, though. You feel me? This is some range content I'm bringing to y'all soon. Why I haven't been at the range? Bro. It's winter. You feel me? Where I'm at? The snow ain't no joke. Like I said, I don't like shooting at. I really don't like shooting indoors. It's loud as fuck. And then the range officers, they just be give you extra hassle that you don't need. Like, I'm a grown ass man. I've been in plenty of gun ranges. I don't need you all over my shoulder. I don't need you coming to me while I'm shooting me telling me. Uh, you're not getting the full cartridge burning. Don't you think I know that? Why do you think I'm only shooting at 15 to 20, 25 yards on paper? Because I'm having fun with that. I look at this as a pistol the same way I would look at this. I register it out a pistol as a pistol. Like, this is an AR pistol. So, it's not, if we're being technical, it's not really meant to have the same force as an AR-15 rifle because it's a pistol. So, if them bad don't mean nothing to you, man, build you one of these. Like I say, it's fun. It runs. And just look at it. Like, just look at it. Tell me that don't look. Come on, bro. Like, even if you don't shoot it, I plan on hanging this up in my... If I don't raffle this up, I plan on hanging this up in my gun room on the wall. Just like this. On the wall. Ever. Like, that's how much I love this gun. I got two more of these bills coming. Got a lot of shit coming for the channel. Be doing a review on this when I get the plates and actually go get some, you know, time man in there right now. I just got two 7.62 mags because that's my primary weapon. My 7.62 AR pistol is my primary weapon. And I got one 5.56 five, mag in it because, you know, go crazy. Oh, yeah. That's why the 5 Pro, the 5. Five cons and the five pros to own a micro AR-15. So if you're gonna look the bad about the power, the velocity bars, about how loud it is, how bright it is, about how much maintenance you're gonna have to do, because this gun gets dirty faster than any AR I have. I'm guessing because it's small. So you can overlook like that. If you can overlook that and you already have a rifle, like this would be a good build because you already have a rifle. You already have something that you're gonna need. You don't need. You can't shoot 13 of the same rifles. I'm pretty sure you don't even hang around 13 people that you would trust to shoot your rifles while you're shooting them. So, like, <laughs> yeah, I want to build. I'm, I, I, yeah, so. Go ahead and get y'all one, bro. It's really worth it. I promise y'all. You're not going to regret it. I'm going to change this grip out to the skeleton grip. Because, like I said, this gun is just for looks. I'm going to go to the range and bring views because it brought a lot of light to my channel. You feel me, so? Why would I? Why would I switch it up? You feel me, so? Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to my, follow me on my new Instagram, bro. And my Instagram got deleted too, so I made a whole new one. It's going to be in the bio. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn that bell on, because I'm going up. Every time I post, I'm going up. Giveaway coming soon. We at 10K. You feel me? Like, it's getting real. So y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. So you rock tactical. Like, oh, yeah. Go get y'all one. Because just look at it. Like, grip like G stuff. My, my, my whole chest is, you feel me, like, this boy is tiny, like, 
I don't even have to back out the camera to get the whole gun in the picture, so. Make sure I get y'all one, man. You feel me? I went with the red accents because, you know. Oh, red. Linear comp. That linear comp make it look better and it give it, like, a couple more inches to say on a barrel. So, it, like, makes it from five inches to, like, eight inches. I don't know. It's looking nice. Without this, it's literally right here this short, so. Imagine this being a gun without the linear comp. Like, that's a little motherfucker, and it runs, and it's going to be loud. So, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, or I'm coming through like this, hitting them corners on y'all. No, I'm just playing, though. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Free Rock Tactical. We going up, man. Spam 11K in the chat, too. We almost at 11K, man. Like, we just hit 10K. All we going to do is keep going up, man. So, make sure I like, comment, subscribe.